Welcome everybody to uh, chapter uh, 6, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Frank urges the battle and clean up plus more. Alex had a long day, so he decided to To go to booty, tell the crusaders a lie. But the snipe says that they leave him out in me, and they cause problems all the pony of them searching for a creature that doesn't exist. Think of a bag who's laughing so hard he can't breathe. I was needing help. <clears throat> Alex, Alex. I need help. There's a nurse of mine coming to Ponyville. And a pony wants to know your skill in battle. Alex stops laughing and smiles. I'll kill that Usa and make coats out of its skin. Trixie looks at Alex in shock. Wait, you wear animal, you wear animal skins? <laughs> she runs <laughs> afterwards. And Alex smiles and laughs. Bit more. Yes. I want skin to him. He wants his skin as a thin coat. <laughs> he smiles grimly. It's blood burning by the end. Violently kisses Trixie on her lips. Then he goes to the shower and watches over preparing for the big battle ad. And into the showers he shoppings his blade and shines it. He, he then hears a loud roar that he that shakes the earth and he runs outside. It's ready. It's ready. There's a tower. It's very tall. It's close. And teeth are massive. And Alex smiles and says, Oh yeah, finally a worthy foe. It's about what infuriated him by a lot. We threw was the biggest and heaviest king at the Ursa. Now I know it's back. He then grabs his massive paws in his body and begins to tear his rump off. Of the bear begins to scream as it wants mighty pump. Was turned clean from his body, a, th a thick spray of blood. Tears to other limbs, the tears to other limbs. Then he powers up his blade, he glowing brightly in the lightning, dancing off the blade before it. He impales the ears of the great skull. He surprises his final few seconds of life fade into nothingness. It's great, and its body is engulfed by fire. The blood is now gas. Its huge body is now a small blood of ash. So he grabs him up and cleans up the mess. And he sings as he walks to Apple Jacks. He is then jumped by a Timberwolves. He draws his gun and not wanting to waste his energy to use his sword. The Timberwolf jumps at him. Next chapter. There's seven. Seven. Right, chapter seven. Exit finally defeated this Timber. There's, okay, so I finally defeated those Jimmer Woman bastards. And he comes across the Patrick's farm in a blaze and the whole Emily laying on the ground, not even trying. He 
hears a cold voice say, Hello, shade blood. She has a powerful feeling of dread and hopelessness, but still has the will to fight. And this, this is body fills with rage and death. was beneath him and she charges with his blade at the ready he swings down but for trip locks her with his staff and goes into his second form and he has it rain down fireballs the sky and Alex runs at high speed and jumps through the air cutting through the fireball he lays down the beating, but it barely fears the Lord, one of the first Lord of Despair. He is hit hard in the face, sending him flying through trees, and is now hurt badly. When he gets up and charges forward, at alarming speed, yet again sinking his foot into the Lord's shoulder, vaporizing his left arm. He lands several punches, but all it does is give two black eyes and a broken nose, then triggers him with lightning several times, blistering his skin. But he runs forward and the blade strikes slow, cutting off. Sticks by pressing and put triggers his powerful arm. Sticks is pretty phased by it. The next swing. Then he gets a fury of good snaps. And he jumps back. Then he jumps back and charges again. Before cutting, he's sitting him to the ground. It's over and over again. There is about a dime. Then he throws him to a lot of trees. And he throws his foot straight into the air. <sighs> okay, he throws his foot into the air. Finally, beats him senselessly. <laughs> Blood and cuts everywhere. But he doesn't stop. He keeps going until pieces of his skin fly apart. And when there's nothing of him but ashes, he calms down. And the bomb is fixed with a snap of his fingers. And the butcher goes to him. Jack, <clears throat> thanks, thanks, partner. Thanks, partner. Partner. you always be classed as an apple from now on. And then gets a little teary eyes. Jack says, Are you okay? He says, I was one family. He hugs Applejack, hugs him back, and he, and he stays for dinner. Mm, Alright. Second to last chapter The Other Lords of Despair. <clears throat> While our hero was fighting Voldrig, the second of the fall of the despair, the heads do clouds deal with the last two had to destroy Pony Roll. And Alex says that something is wrong and bolts for it, killing all monsters and beasts that get in his way. A trail of death and his weak destruction, scarring the land he down. Oh, and then I'm zoomed away super fast towards Kutsu. The Vengile is the weather against the Pegasi in Kingdom of the Weather. So fear maze. He's in flying into trees. He says, I'm gonna break you, then eat your soul. He says, please, please, no, no, no. Again, but he gets back up and hits it. Here multiple times with the lightning. His skinny pain, cooking slush, 
scheming of the villains. He will get up and draws his blade. It, it, and draws his dress speed. Deed, but avenge you. He is past the public acts badly, but is met to his end. Ultima runs him through sucking out everything he has. He is this dumb fool, and he gets his pack and drinks spirit juice that you're just fixing it. This is the pony from the races. Pony is in dead magic horse heading towards Pony even the else. I'm coming, Twilight! Won't let them hurt you or in protest. It is as if super is bring dirt and to stop into the air to be flying by. And when he arrives, starts going on the fire uh, punch. Bunch of epic flips, jumps, and traps. Hidden chase, the last one. Just keep a corner and then the figure. Without your shields. Without your shields. Help me out. And there they are. Right now pouring down on everyone. Soaking them witness with their next sweet up acres. The ground sets fire beneath him as he runs next speed and he charges his the figure up every move he makes that's blocked and deflected. You're doing nothing to the barrier cracks and shatters to the front one person. Peter made the hard and you can get over and over again and just sneak and toss him like a limp rag dog. Gets his rainbow dash. Then he picks her up. He flies her home for a bit. Right here's the last chapter. The recovery. Oh, the last cha at least the last chapter so far. Oh, he was in a hospital bed. His body burned. His burned so patched up. He tried getting up, but the pain was too much. The blisters and burns in his body screaming with intense pain as they sizzled from the sunlight pouring in. So he weakly pulls down the blinds and lays it in his bed. Then his door opens. Medical male walks in. She turns to him and smiles with a sing. Are you are you doing okay? The voice is right to his bedside. Running a hoof through his hair. Like one would do to a child when they get a nasty scraper cut. Before kissing him on his cheek and trotting off to get some ornaments and salves with his limbs. Thinking to himself, I do a bit, awaiting, he gets bored and begins to sing some of the rainbow. He says, and then not that piece of garbage from the Wizard of Oz. After a while, the nurse walks back in with what she needed to tend to him. First by knocking him out, and then she follows up by putting the stuff onto his burns and blisters, as she says, you know, you're re you're either really lucky or extremely resilient. Normally, uh, normally magic like that kills. And she puts bandages over the spots and leaves him an ice pack in case her knocking him out resulted in him having a headache. And then she kisses his forehead and ruffles his hair a bit before she trots off. And, and my hero wakes up. He went out there and uses the ice pack on his forehead before muttering, Damn my stubbornness. As he lays there and thanks, I hope Twin and the others are okay. Before he gets out of bed carefully and uses a bathroom, 
He lays back down on the bed, no longer complaining about the pain. He lays down and rests so loud that he remembers the fights that led to the current state. His going and moaning, bouncing off the walls, he then felt a surge of pain. Passing and he woke up, it had been two, it had been two days and he was back to full health. A healing rate so quick that even the questions was just fine as doctors could not figure out how he was capable of such a speedy recovery. So he donned his armor, raided his weapons, and headed outside after making, having them remove the IV yeah, from his left arm. And then once he had made sure everything was good to go, he walked out the door. That is the end of it so far.